trying to come up with something creative for breakfast once again and I was just sitting there and through the window I noticed that we have some mint growing so I'm like hmm what can I make with mint because it's so hot I thought it might actually be refreshing to add it to the food I was gonna go sunbake but I missed that boat that's for sure it's like so hot outside it's probably easily 40 something degrees in the sun in the sun not in the shade uh, yes so I'm gonna go and do that poor Lucy has hurt her eye but it's getting a bit better we're putting drops in it I've been trying to grow this mint for ages here so there's so much of it uh, I'm just gonna take maybe a piece here all right so I'm putting all this in my smoothie we've got bananas mint organic cocoa and um, flaxseed which is awesome rich in omega-3s actually all this is pretty awesome so let's try it very simple <laughs> That actually smells really fresh. All right, time for the taste test. Okay, <laughs> this is actually really good. Wow, the aftertaste is brilliant because first you're drinking chocolate and then you've got this, you can't even really taste the mint. You, can, you only have that fresh aftertaste of it. Wow, I've just come up with something really good. I've just been playing Gears of War 4. It's actually such an awesome game. I kind of didn't expect, well, I expected to like it, but I didn't expect to like it that much. And Harrison, again, thank you so much for it and for the controller. I don't know why, I've really, really been enjoying this controller. I don't know if it's like that little, I don't know if you can tell, it's got like this little grippy thing. I don't know, it just, it just, <laughs> it just feels really good. <laughs> Now I was thinking about Christmas and uh, usually I don't like clutter as you probably know but I kind of want to appreciate it a little bit more. In the last few years I've been so busy and everybody's busy you know like I don't know if it's just in Australia but we all seem to be living really hectic lifestyles and I was thinking how am I going to do it this year? Well first thing is I will do vlogmas <laughs> which I'll be vlogging throughout December which should be fun. I've got a couple of special little things prepared for that month as well so hopefully it will be you know lots of fun um, and also I was just thinking about decorating and kind of celebrating it a little bit more than usual uh, well more than usual over the last I don't know since pretty much forever I never really understood how decorations com can come out at the end of October it's pretty much as soon as Halloween finishes right you've got decorations galore everywhere I don't want to go crazy but I do want to make more effort of kind of putting them out to create that better atmosphere a little bit early on so it kind of builds up towards Christmas let's hope it doesn't disappoint uh, <laughs> you know what it's like sometimes you meet up with friends and family and sometimes somebody aggravates you and you're like oh you just ruined it <laughs> That happens sometimes. Um, anyway, I don't know if you guys celebrate Christmas or not. Uh, we do, so it's something, yeah, definitely that I want to do. I'll never forget the Christmas tree falling over. The big dog knocked it over. And actually, with the Christmas tree decorations, Lucy loves playing with those, and they do fall off. Hmm. Okay, anyway, I'll think of something. I'll think of something fun. If you guys have any ideas, what are your special ways of celebrating Christmas? December is approaching and uh, yeah, it should, be, it should be a fun time anyway. Let's see what we can do with it. Lucy, do you like getting better? You like the pats and scratches, don't you, baby girl? Yes, you do. You're so sweet. Yeah. Wow, what happened? Did I close the blinds for you and you can't look outside anymore? Hmm? It's cooled down a lot with the storm that came through, so everybody's enjoying this bed. Oh, look how cute you guys are sharing that bed together. Are you happy about this, Lucy? Actually, funny but true story. When Lucy hurt her eye initially, she was just laying down in the bed. She didn't really want to move anywhere and... Um, I felt so sorry for her and I wanted to like, you know, pat her and make sure that she's all right and she loved it. She wanted to cuddle in. So I like kind of sat down in the bed and it was so comfortable that I nearly fell asleep in it. Like I'm not joking. These beds are so comfortable. <laughs> make ones for humans. I need one for like this room so I can relax. <laughs> anyway, it is time for lunch now. So I've got mango, nectarines, strawberries, coconut, chia that I made really really nice actually passion fruit and then I've got this superfood blend of there's like 91 things in it so it's pretty cool you can probably tell I love my fruit 
especially during summertime because you put it in the fridge it gets like really cold and when it's a hot day like this it's just so so refreshing and of course it's good for you so yeah i'm gonna enjoy that <laughs> for sure so i just finished doing a workout i don't know if i told you previously but i was doing the jumping rope thing and i actually stuffed up my knee i think i overdid it i should have used my yoga mat to jump on rather than doing it on the tiles yeah, so I stuffed up my knee, like it hurts. I think I just need to give it a break, but it hurts like when I kind of lift it from a laying down position or I don't know, it just kind of like clicks and then there is pain associated with that. So anyway, I think I must have pulled something. So I'm gonna give that a break now. And because it's the knee, you can't really do much in terms of the lower body, which sucks. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna give that a break, but today I did like a chest workout, which was pretty cool, and tomorrow I'm gonna to do arms, and yeah, I'm just gonna continue with it. I found so many awesome just exercises and channels and things that you can do, and that like it's really, really good. I'm excited, because I don't want things to hold me back. You know, I don't wanna do just one thing, and be like, oh, well, now that that's gone, I'll just stop, so I'm gonna continue doing that. And then I've got resistant bands as well, and I found some awesome workouts with that so i'm going to continue with that um yeah pretty much use what i have and just continue moving forward i'm going to wrap it up here i hope that you have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world and i'll talk to you next time bye for now